Hello boys and girls, today our lesson is continue to break apart the first to add. We are going to continue to use our break apart strategy for our addition. So let's look at our solvent here. Josh has 34 kids to recycle. Jill has 27 kids. How many kids do they have in all? Solve any way you choose. Use drawings and equations to explain your work. So what are going to use our cube strategies to look at this word problem. C stands for circle the key number. So we're going to look into this problem and we're going to circle our key numbers which is 34 and 27. U stands for underline the question. So we are going to underline the question which says how many cans do they have in all? B stands for box any math action words. So how many is a math action word? Because we need to find out how many cans. So that's an important keyword that we need to know. And then it all tells us that we have to do the addition because when we have to find out how many all together or it all, we use our addition strategies. The next step is E stands for evaluate the steps. So we are going to evaluate our steps. That means we have to do addition by looking at these math action words. So we have 34 plus 27. So these are our steps. Now we are going to solve and check. Remember, we have to break apart these numbers into tens and ones. So I'm going to break this number into tens. There are three tens, so that means it has 30. And four ones, so it has four ones here. Now I'm going to break apart this number. 27 can break apart into 20. That means two tens and seven ones. Now, I'm going to add my tens first. So I have my 30 and I have my 20. I'm going to add 30 and 20, which gives me 50. And four plus seven gives me 11. My next step is to add my tens and my ones to find the sum. So I'm going to add them together. 0 plus 1 is 1. 5 plus 1 is 6. So that shows that I have 34 plus 27 equal 61 cans. Okay, now I have to solve and check. So I have solved my problem. I have to recheck my work using another strategy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my standard algorithm method. So for standard algorithm method, I'm going to add these two edits to see if I get the same sum and my answer is correct. I will line up my numbers, keeping the ones together and keeping the tens together. So I'm going to start from my word side. 7 plus 4 is 11. I need to regroup. So I'm going to put 1, 1 here and 1, 10 on the top. My next step is to add all the tens together. So 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. And you can see that this number matches with this number. So that shows that I have used my strategy correctly. Make sure you complete the lesson and you watch the video and finish your work. Thank you.